Gio, you guys get your first point of the season at Dallas. Uh, obviously, step forward for you guys. Um, looking at the game, how do you feel like you can build off that now going into Chicago? First of all, glad for us to be able to be able to pick up that point in Dallas against a very good team. I thought, uh, as I said, uh, right after the match, the guys looked very disciplined. I think they executed uh, very well the plan uh, there, and I think we almost could have gotten something more from the match. So um, finishing the game in ten, with 10 players and still putting the effort all the way to the end, uh, I thought we had the right mentality, and that's what we want to see from, from our team. Um, and how can we build from there is, is to make sure that we can repeat uh, what we saw in Dallas and, and uh, from the mental and the discipline standpoint. Um, sometimes you, you play well, sometimes you don't play well, but I think the mentality should be always strong in every match. You kind of changed your approach. You had three defensive midfielders on the field in that game. Can you talk about the decision to maybe make some adjustments to the approach and um, how that result kind of impacts your approach going forward? Yeah, no, very clearly uh, I, I thought that we were uh, able to transition to something a little bit different. Uh, we tried it. Um, I think the transition has to be a little bit more step by step. And um, and I felt that this was, uh, for this particular match, the, the best way for us to play. And, and I think uh, helped us in, in many different ways to um, leave less spaces open, uh, to be able to be more solid, to be able to find the ball in better areas. And overall, I think uh, it was a, a well plan that the guys executed very well against a very good team. How great was it to see Diego Chara back on the field? And what does he bring uh, to this team when he's out there? Yeah, Do you have time until tomorrow? <laughs> He's a fantastic player. He's a great leader. Um, he brings so much to, to the team, and uh, it was fantastic to see him back. But I think the important part is that we cannot relay on only one player. In, uh, and uh, I think uh, that day wasn't only Diego working. I think it was uh, everyone uh, that contributed to have a good match, and that's what we want to see from, from this team. Um, going into this game this weekend, uh, you guys are playing a doubleheader with the Portland Thorns. Uh, wh what do you think of uh, having this doubleheader? No, it's, it's great to be able to see uh, the Thorns uh, live. I haven't seen them yet. So it will be a good opportunity to see them. We'll support them. Hopefully they get a good result. Um, and it's, uh, it's a great thing to have uh, uh, the two teams together in this particular time. Well, you, it sounds like you'll definitely be watching. Do you think the whole team will be out there watching the second game with the Thorns? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know for how long, but for sure we'll watch uh, some period of the game. Um, and then uh, just a few more for me. Um, in terms of injuries, uh, Vitas and I know Adonel played for T2. Um, so where are both of them at? Um, Jeff is ready to, to step in, uh, as well as uh, Vitas. Uh, Vitas is um, is having a good week. Uh, he's training fully now, so we just have to uh, make the decision to see if he's a hundred percent to be able to travel. But uh, he's he's uh, he's training fully and and he's he's healthy. Um, and you obviously made the decision to start uh, Bill and uh, not put Liam in the 18. Um, Bill obviously made Team of the Week, had a good performance. How do you kind of evaluate that decision now going forward? Um, obviously, Levin's been the captain, but uh, Bill and Larry's looked uh, pretty good in that game. First of all, what I have to say is that Liam is a very important part still of this team. Uh, believe in him, he's training well, and uh, um, I think he's done a lot of good things. Uh, it's just a coach's decision uh, in this particular match, and we're evaluating this week how we're going to go against uh, Chicago and uh, we'll make our decisions uh, before we, we travel. Uh, but uh, in regards to last match, it was just a coach's decision. Uh, I felt that this is how we had to travel. Um, and one thing doesn't have to do with the other. Uh, Liam doesn't have to do with the fact of the success of uh, Bill. Bill has been training very well since preseason. Uh, he had an opportunity to step in and play, and he did a good job. Uh, good for him, because uh, I had no doubt that he was going to do well. But that has nothing to do uh, with the decision that I made.
Coach, some questions about your opposition this weekend. Chicago's in a unique situation because they haven't played for a couple weeks now. And in between the two games that they have played this year, I believe they changed five or six of their starters. How does that affect your preparation and the balance that coaches have to make each week between training for the game that you want to play and training for the opponent that you're going to face? Yeah, I think sometimes uh, having two weeks is a bad thing because you lose your momentum. But in other moments, it's a good thing. As it happened to us last week, uh, the past two weeks, I think it was good for us to be able to get uh, to the right, right, right mental stage against Dallas. Um, and maybe for Chicago, it's, these two weeks, it's been good for them to analyze certain things. And, and for us, what we have to prepare is what we have seen. We have to predict a couple of different things and scenarios, which we have, and try to prepare the guys to anything that we can uh, encounter. And, and uh, if there's something that uh, we haven't prepared for, uh, which I think, uh, you know, I think we, we have looked at every scenario. But the guys have to deal uh, with what we're going to encounter. Um, Chicago is still a good team. I think they have good players. It's going to be a difficult match. Every game is a difficult match. Uh, but uh, we're preparing well for, for, this, for this trip. You already spoke to it a little bit there. But when you're looking at Velko Panovic's teams, what elements of the style that he has instilled do you think are most important for your team to have to prepare for for this weekend's game? No, I think I think uh, they have tried different systems already in this season in two games. But uh, you can see a very important Spanish influence in him, in the style that he plays. And, um, and we just have to look at, you know, the different things that they do. Uh, the di different possibilities that they have in the different system that they can change uh, and adapt to those and give that information to the players. And then they have the reigning golden boot winner on their team in Nemanja Nikolic. As a fellow striker, when you look at his game, what strengths about his performance, about what he brings, jump out to you? We have the MVP. So, you know, and uh, it's 11 against 11. I just think that uh, it's not one player that we have to focus. Uh, we have to look at the entire team, how they play, uh, and how they can perform, how they can execute, how can they find good areas, what the strengths are, and the weaknesses. And, and that's what we have done. We started to give that information to the players already. Today, in practice, we already uh, done some, some work into it, and tomorrow we'll do more. Um, so, as I said, it's a difficult game. Uh, because they're transitioning in, in different ways, but uh, we're preparing accordingly to it. Um, following up on a few things, uh, with Jeff coming back, um, how does that kind of impact your decision? Uh, Jake's obviously um, been playing, uh, and they were competing very closely against each other in, in preseason. So how does that impact your decision in the goalkeeper role? Now we have three goalkeepers that are competing. Uh, before it was two because Jeff was uh, injured. So uh, it's a day-to-day -day competition in practice uh, to see who's going to be able to step in. I completely agree with you. I think uh, Jake has done well. But I think at the end of the day, uh, they all have uh, the same possibilities to be able to start. And it you know, you said you could speak till tomorrow about Diego Char, but can you talk about maybe some of the specific things you saw um, that, that he brought to the field uh, in Dallas that helped your team? Yeah, I think I think he's one that understands the game well, so tactically he knows where to be. Uh, he's not only good defensively, but also when he has the, bo the ball, he's able to uh, create good things. He knows when to carry the ball, when to pass it, uh, when to join attack, when to sit and be able to help uh, the defenders. He's a player that understands very much his role in, in, in the team. Uh, and then he makes everyone uh, accountable. Uh, he's a quiet leader, but his presence uh, motivates. Uh, so all around, I think he's a... A great player, a fantastic uh, person, and uh, a great leader. And, and then you, you've said that the, the Liam decision was a coaching decision for that particular match. D does that mean that we can expect to see Liam back in the 18 this weekend, or is that still a decision that you were continuing to make? We're making our decisions this week in wh which uh, will be the, the starting 11 this weekend, and like we always do uh, week after week.